Welcome to Collectible Motor Car of Atlanta. My name is Chris and today I've got a really cool truck for you. This is a very, very nice truck, guys. It's a frame off restoration. The frame's been painted the same color as the body. And you might be asking yourself, what color is that? It's actually a house of colors, color called Tangerine Candy. And let me tell you guys, this truck does not disappoint when you see it in person. It's absolutely beautiful. These LED lights do show this truck pretty well but when you get this thing out in the sunlight it shines like a diamond guys it's absolutely gorgeous but let's go ahead and start up front here you've got a nice clean chrome bumper your grill everything is in great condition this is a frame off restoration so everything got replaced with new parts or they were refurbished as we look at the hood the hood's in great condition i don't see any dents or any rock chips or anything on the front the paint's in really really good condition whoever painted this truck did a really good job on it as we work down the fender here and you look at all your wheel well trim and the trim that runs down the door, it's all like new. It doesn't have uh, very much age on it at all. As we look at our body lines here, they're nice and straight and even. As we uh, look at the uh, glass here, there's no chips in your glass. Everything looks in good condition. Your weather stripping is in good condition. You do have the wing window still here and all your weather stripping around it looks like it's new. Uh, one cool feature is they did shave the drip rail here, which really gives it a nice clean and sleek look and it looks really good. Your door handles and your locks are in really good condition. The chrome shines very well on it. Your mirror here is in great condition and it shines well too, no pitting. Like I said, all your, your, uh, your molding here down the side of the truck is in great condition. It looks like it's fairly new. Uh, you do have uh, four wheel uh, disc brakes. They are wheel woods. Uh, you have a 17 inch Bucknick wheel up front and an 18 Bucknick wheel in the back with a Mickey Thompson to help get that traction from that LS motor under the hood. As we work our way down the side of the body here, it's all nice and straight. I don't see any waves or dents. As we work our way around the back side of the bed here. You've got a really clean uh, tailgate here. The Chevrolet has been taken off the back here and you have a really pretty uh, and really clean chrome bumper. You've got LED tail lights. We drop the tailgate here all your hinges are in good condition your beds all been painted in that tangerine candy you uh, your gas tanks been moved to the back as well as your your uh, tubs have been uh, exchanged with larger tubs to get those big wheels out back but overall just a really really nice truck guys if you like content like this guys we're all the time coming out with new videos to show our new inventory so if that is something you're interested in hit the like button and subscribe to our channel but with that being said, let's go ahead and check out that LS motor under the hood. All right, guys, take a look at this gorgeous engine bay with this 5.3 liter LS engine. Uh, one thing that I really, really love about this engine bay is it's nice and clean. The firewall's all painted and shaved. Your wheel well tubs are painted as well. You can see that your frame is all painted to match as well. Just a super clean engine bay. I really love the Chevrolet valve covers with the coil packs relocated and hidden. It just gives you that really clean look. Uh, you've got the Holly mid-rise intake as well as the Holly fuel rails. Um, you've got vintage AC. You've got a serpentine belt system here to match as well. You've got a Be Cool aluminum radiator, CPP master brake or uh, power brakes. You've got billet hinges here as well. Overall, just a super, super clean look. Um, no expense spared on this engine bay and it just looks fantastic and will be in style for years to come. But with that being said, let's go ahead and move to the interior and see what it's got to offer. All right, guys, check out the interior on this beautiful C10. As you can tell, you've got some custom TMI interior. You do have the custom TMI door panels. You've got a really nice billet specialty steering wheel as well as the billet specialty window cranks and door handles. You've got this really awesome center console. It's nice and large where you can put your arm on it. You can keep your waters, your tea, your drink, whatever you want here while you're cruising. You do get a tilt wheel with a chrome steering column. You get all your uh, chrome accessories as far as your gear shifter and your turn signal indicator. You do have Dakota digital gauges here that really give it a futuristic look. You have ice cold AC as well. You do have your radio down here where you can connect Bluetooth or play from the radio. Um, overall, this truck is very, very well done. The dash pad is nice and clean. Your headliner is in a black leather as well. 
Another really cool feature with this truck is when they were doing it, they had all the carpet out. They were they laid down a bunch of dyno matting, which is a sound deadening mat that you can put down and it really keeps the drone from the exhaust and road noise. It keeps it down a lot with putting that down there. So that's a huge bonus with this truck. So it's nice and clean or, or nice and quiet, I mean. But overall, just a really, really nice truck that is a good cruiser, and you can drive this truck anywhere with this LS motor that's in here. But the interior is absolutely beautiful. Um, the dash is painted the same as the exterior in that candy tangerine, um, and just really gives it a cool look in here. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take this one for a drive. All right, guys, we're now out in the 1968 C10 taking her for a drive. And guys, let me tell you, this truck gets tons of looks. We've already had tons of thumbs up while we're driving it. Um, super good driver, the steering's nice and tight. The truck definitely reacts when you turn the steering wheel. And you'll definitely see why when we put it up on the lift and I show you all the modified suspension on this truck. AC blows cold, all the gauges are working. And man, just a great sounding truck with this LS motor in here. And it's got plenty of power for what you need. If you need to mat it to the floor and get out in front of traffic, it'll definitely do that. But it's also a good cruising truck. You can sit here and drive it nice and easy and it'll get excellent gas mileage. Um, the ride quality is very good. It's not super stiff, but not too soft. So it definitely has a good sport truck feel, but not too aggressive as far as the stiffness of the suspension. Definitely still very enjoyable to drive. Um, turn signals work, lights work. Um, these seats are very, very comfortable. Um, if you guys know anything about TMI, you know they're one of the best in the business. Everybody uses them. Um, and there's a, there's a reason why their quality is very good and they're very comfortable seats. But overall, guys, this truck is super nice. The brakes feel good on it. Um, the truck stops really good with this CPP uh, power brake kit that's on here and the wheel wood calipers and rotors. Um, overall, just a really nice truck. Uh, you got the tilt wheel here to, to adjust the steering wheel exactly how you want to get that most comfortable um, seating position. But overall, just a really, really nice truck. Let's go ahead and head back to the shop and put this one up on the lift. All right, guys, we got the truck up in the air and we're gonna go over everything under the bottom here. We'll start up front like we always do. Your, your core support here is nice and dry. I don't see any signs of any coolant leaking. Your frame rails are in good shape. I don't see any signs of damage. As we work our way back, you do have a custom cross member here with Detroit Speed A-arms. You do have a set of adjustable QA1 shocks as well. This truck is lowered with spindles and springs. You do have wheel wood brakes on both sides up front here and the truck stops amazing. As you can tell, the truck is all painted underneath here in the same color as the exterior, that, uh, that candy tangerine, and it looks awesome underneath here. You do have your 5.3 LS motor here. The oil pan's nice and dry. You've got your 4L60E transmission with electric overdrive. The pan here is nice and dry. I don't see any signs of any leaks here. You do have cook headers that are shorties that run out into dual exhaust all the way back. Your frame rail's in excellent condition. As we work our way back here, you do have a one-piece drive shaft, which is an upgrade for this truck. Um, you All your suspension components here are all painted in that tangerine candy and it just looks super awesome uh, your rear end's also painted and you do have the adjustable qa1s out back as well and the, you've got the lmc um, fuel tank relocation kit that's moved the tank to the back of the bed but overall this truck is super super nice guys this is one custom truck that's had a lot of money put into it the owner has told us that it's had roughly two hundred thousand dollars put into the build with build hours and labor and parts, which I can definitely see that. I've built a couple of trucks myself and you can definitely do it pretty easy with the amount of work that's been done to a truck like this, having a frame off restoration. But if you're interested in this truck, give me or my partner, Justin, a call at 770-738-7111. You can go to our website, collectiblemotorcaroofatlanta.com and view this truck and all the pictures that we have on it. So you can really see the detail in this beautiful build. But with that being said, we'll catch you on the next one.